Welcome to this video dedicated to the most beautiful places in Piedmont. In this exciting adventure, we will take you on a journey to discover some of the hidden gems and most fascinating locations of this splendid Italian region. Get ready to be captivated by the most beautiful places in Piedmont as we accompany you on a breathtaking journey. Before we begin, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing, but it means a lot to us and helps us improve the quality of our content. Here is our personal top 5 of the places to visit in Piedmont. Turin. It is a city that enchants with its rich history and culture. Situated on the banks of the majestic river Pa, the city is characterized by a unique combination of elegance, history, and architectural beauty. One of the first things that strike visitors is the architecture of Turin. The city is famous for its Baroque and neoclassical palaces that stand majestically along its streets. The Royal Palace, the Male Antonelliana, and the Church of San Lorenzo are just some of the architectural gems worth visiting. The city also boasts a rich and fascinating history. It was the first capital of Italy and played an important role in the formation of the country. This is reflected in its regal atmosphere and historical monuments. Walking through the streets of Turin, you can breathe an aura of past grandeur. It is also a cultural city with numerous museums, art galleries, and theaters. The city is also renowned for its gastronomy. Turin is the birthplace of chocolate and the famous aperitif, vermouth. The streets are dotted with historic cafes and pastry shops where you can taste local specialties. It is definitely a place to explore slowly, letting yourself be guided by the typical streets and hidden treasures that await around every corner. The Longue. They are a charming region located in the southern part of Piedmont. This hilly territory is famous for its breathtaking views, endless vineyards, and picturesque villages. The hills of the Longue are characterized by a unique natural beauty. Their gentle slopes are covered with vineyards that produce some of Italy's finest wines, such as Barallo and Barbaresco. The vineyards stretch as far as the eye can see, creating a landscape of extraordinary beauty and charm. The villages add a touch of authenticity and tradition to this region. Some of the most beautiful and characteristic villages, which we will see later on, include La Mora, Barallo, Serra Lunga d'Alba, and Neve. In addition to vineyards and villages, the Longue also boast exquisite cuisine. This region is famous for its local products, such as white and black truffles, alpine cheese, and fine cured meats. Restaurants and trattorias offer a variety of traditional dishes prepared with fresh and high-quality ingredients. It is also an ideal place for outdoor enthusiasts. The hills offer numerous opportunities for hiking or cycling, allowing visitors to explore the vineyards and enjoy spectacular views. Lake Orta. It is an alpine lake located at the foot of the mountains, offering a unique natural beauty. It is characterized by clear and tranquil waters surrounded by a spectacular scenery. The surrounding mountains create a suggestive environment and provide a sense of tranquility and serenity. The atmosphere of the lake is perfect for relaxation and enjoying the peace and beauty of nature. One of the most iconic landmarks of Lake Orta is the island of San Giulio. This small island is dominated by the Basilica of San Giulio, a fascinating church dating back to the 4th century. Exploring the island and admiring the religious architecture is an unforgettable experience. You can also stroll along the lakeside promenade of Orta San Giulio, a charming town that offers panoramic views and a fascinating atmosphere. Another must-visit attraction is the Sacro Monte di Orta, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This religious complex consists of 20 chapels representing the life of St. Francis of Assisi. 
In addition to the natural beauty and religious aspects, Lake Orta also offers delicious cuisine and a lively food and wine scene. There are restaurants and cafes overlooking the lake where you can taste local specialties such as lake fish and artisanal cheeses. The lake is also an ideal place for outdoor activities such as hiking, swimming, canoeing, and boat trips. The Borromean Islands They are a group of enchanting islands located in Lake Maggiore, on the border between Italy and Switzerland. These islands, famous for their beauty and charm, are a very popular tourist attraction. Isola Bella is renowned for its magnificent Borromeo Palace and its gardens, known as the Botanical Gardens, which offer a blend of colorful flowers, centuries-old trees, and fascinating fountains. Isola dei Pescatori, the most picturesque of the islands, is characterized by narrow cobblestone alleys and traditional fishermen's houses. This charming village is a perfect place to immerse yourself in local life, stroll through the crowded streets, and enjoy delicious fresh fish dishes in the restaurants overlooking the lake. Lastly, there is Isola Madre, the largest of the Borromean Islands. It is known for its lush botanical gardens, which host a vast collection of rare and exotic plants from around the world. On the island, you can also find an ancient palace with period furnishings and a rich history. In conclusion, the Borromean Islands are a delightful destination that offers a combination of natural beauty, fascinating architecture, and an authentic atmosphere. The Gran Paradiso National Park It is a wonderful protected area located in the Grayan Alps, between Piedmont and Valle d'Aosta. It is the first Italian national park, established in 1922, and embraces an area of great natural beauty. It is characterized by alpine valleys, towering peaks, vast stretches of forests, and rushing rivers. Its majestic summit, Gran Paradiso, dominates the entire area with its height of 4,061 meters. Inside the park, you can admire a rich variety of flora and fauna. The mountain slopes are covered with coniferous and beech forests, while alpine meadows are dotted with colorful wildflowers during the summer season. The park offers an extensive network of hiking trails that allow visitors to explore the spectacular landscapes and get close to untouched nature. There are routes suitable for all levels of experience, from simple panoramic walks to more challenging treks that lead to the peaks of the surrounding mountains. The Gran Paradiso National Park also offers opportunities for activities such as mountaineering, rock climbing, canyoning, and rafting. In addition to these five wonderful destinations, in Piedmont, we recommend visiting these five villages located in the Lang. Serra Lunga d'Alba. Famous for its imposing castle that dominates the entire area. The village is surrounded by vineyards and offers spectacular views of the surrounding countryside. La Mora. It is a charming village known for the production of fine wines, particularly Barallo. The village offers cobblestone streets, stone houses, and panoramic views of the surrounding hills. It is an ideal place for wine and food lovers. Costiglione d'Osti It is a municipality located in the hills of Monferrato, famous for its well-preserved historic center. The village is characterized by narrow alleys, ancient towers, and imposing medieval walls. It is an ideal place to discover the history and culture of the region, as well as to taste the local wines and products. Barallo. It is a renowned municipality famous for the production of the eponymous wine, considered one of the finest Italian red wines. The village is characterized by a strong wine tradition and offers an authentic atmosphere. Here, you can visit wineries, taste the exquisite Barallo wines, and admire the views of the vine-covered hills. Neve. It is known for its medieval charm and the production of quality wines. 
The village boasts picturesque stone architecture, cobblestone streets, and colorful houses. It is an ideal place to wander through the alleyways and discover the local wineries, where you can taste the Nebbiolo and Barbera wines produced in the area. For now, our journey ends here. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to us. Follow us in the upcoming videos to discover many more charming and exciting destinations.